Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. Welcome back to No Man's Sky Expeditions 2. This is part 3. Uh, today we are going to make uh, some serious money. Really serious money. Uh, we're going to go get the matter beam technology. I've decided I don't want those because I don't want to carry them. And there was... was there something on the ship? No, but there's stuff that we can stuff onto the freighter. Uh, we need to uh, land on a few more different planet types and learn uh, just a few more words. We'll uh, warp over to a Gex system. Uh, also, uh, this is supposed to be uh, the system where um, the uh, rendezvous is. At least I thought I flew to the rendezvous point. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't paying very close attention at that point. I was trying to learn words. All right, let's offload some of this stuff. Boy, this thing is slow to land. A Kyo set is the name of our freighter. I'm really glad that it's a Star Destroyer. Uh, some people got Sentinel freighters. Uh, now that we learned the uh, frigate fuel blueprints, we should be able to learn the matter beam. Oh my goodness. There we go. Purchase upgrades. There's the matter beam. Awesome. All right. Now then, let's see. Phase one, reach the rendezvous. Uh, also, it wants me to install the matter beam. I will not forget that. All right. <laughs> Seems to have been a wall there. <laughs> Uh, that's not my shippo. My shippo was parked over here. <laughs> so used to having a radiant pillar. All right, let's make sure we are on reach the rendezvous. There is a space station signal. There we go. That is a Gex system. Awesome. I thought last time I said, oh, it's a Corvax system. Awesome. <laughs> is the rendezvous point moving? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks awesome. Chemo. Discovered by Hello Games. We have Rendezvous Point One. And it's a frozen world, which we need to land on. I don't know if it'll let me. Oh, it's gonna let me. It's gonna let me pulse right past the space station. Popo list. <laughs> okay, Hello Games. Popo list. Don't be talking about your popo in public. <laughs> Maybe somebody at Hello Games can't spell and they meant to say populist. <laughs> this uh, broken neck hauler, I feel like we're not going to the point where I thought we were going. Like I need to reset that, but it says that's where I am going. So yeah, it just looks weird. <laughs> I think freighters sit higher up or their gun sights are lower down, or fighters rather, or their gun sights are lower down. So it looks like you're going where you're going. 
This thing looks like I'm taking a nosedive. There we go. Alright. Now let's see here. There's cum balls aplenty. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to land there. Oh, it's got the holographic geckos. There it is. Visited a frozen planet. Let's see if this is the rendezvous. It's over there. It's actually 870 feet over there. All right, let's meet some gecks. <laughs> Just whatever word, dude. I'm not picky. <laughs> oh, you're so cute! Can't see you because of your friend's head. Which probably looks just like your head, but I didn't notice him. <laughs> Oh, what happened to you? Yeah. You look like one of those upper crust gecks. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, dude. I got other things to do. <laughs> this uh, expedition run is only two weeks long, and uh, which accounts for the absolute ease of these missions. Um, this is just regular beginning play stuff. Um, having some blueprints available uh, is the only difference between this and a normal uh, begin um, save start. Is that everybody? Is there anybody hiding in the room? No. But we got all the words. So let's go to the rendezvous point. Ouch. <laughs> uh, that way, 781 units. <laughs> oh, a Kit Kat. Hello. Oh, look at that. All right, uh, that way. It's thermally cold, suit lady. So far, none of the um, rewards that I've gotten for upgrades have been uh, the upgrade that I needed for the planet that I was on. Uh, let's see here. Life support, uh, hazard protection, maybe a cold one. Be, oops, wrong button. Uh, thermal protection cold. That will work. Here we go. Uh, primitive Viking hoof. Do Vikings have hooves? I think that's our destination. The Portocollis. We can actually uh, portal to the center of the galaxy if we have... Oh, dear, that was a mistake. If we have enough um, stuff and things. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. We haven't even been to the anomaly yet. <laughs> oh, somebody felt like they had to drop a base computer. Oh, aren't you special? There we go. God almighty, that took forever. <laughs> Inventory slots. Not for... What are the inventory slots for? 
Um. Oh, I haven't taken it yet. There we go. There we go. Multi-tool expansion slot. A thousand nanites. That's helpful. If I decide to upgrade anything, we have 1,896 nanites, 4.3 million dollars, and another life support. Um, that'll fit right there. All right, let's grab a save and see what is next. So we finished phase one. And we got fireworks and a freighter recoloring options. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if you can recolor black yet. All right, so phase one complete. Here we go. And um, restore a crashed ship, come to the aid of a stranded life form, and explore a freighter. Those are all in the same group of maps, I believe. Uh, we have a desert, a hot planet, and a toxic planet, and uh, we need to find a creature on the desert world. All right. Let's find out what's available here. And let's see here. Space station. That one right there. Don't know what that is. Uh, that is a capped planet below there. Are we close enough yet? There is another cold planet. I don't know about these uh, aiming sites. <laughs> uh, easily solved by going into first person if you are having that problem. So if I go into first person, I can look directly at what I'm looking for. There is a desert planet. And the moon is right there. It is also a desert planet. and the capped planet, and we'll just turn around and see that that is all by itself. And I gotta look closely. Yeah, that's all by itself. So let's go on to the space station. So if you've never flown in first person or it bothers you a lot, um, you can just like go into third first person to solve the problem that you have and then go right back into third person if that's what you're comfortable with. Let's see what else has been piled into the suit. Uh, yeah, fireworks. We haven't installed the matter beam. Here's another 1.3 million units. And where did it shove the other fireworks? There's a multi-tool expansion slot. Uh, we have a shield, don't we? Um, let's grab that, and we'll couple it with this shield, which is X-Class, plus 92. Wow. That's awesome. I don't know if it means anything, but it's awesome to see a number that high. And we don't have to waste time in this space station meeting Gek because I think we already got the Gek language. Uh, that's this one. I'll get it. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Translation technologies, uh, Gek relics, nip nip buds, and standing increase. Very good. There's the translation technology. It gave us all three of them. Uh, so far, I don't see any need for any more uh, glyphs. 
Alrighty. I know I'm breaking somebody's heart by selling those uh, <laughs> nip nip buds. There we go. All right, now we have 5.8 million. Holy Hannah. <laughs> I think we have enough to buy a better ship than that. <laughs> this guy is slow as molasses. There's that. Let's take a look at the starship. We are carrying too much stuff. Uh, we have one S-Class hyperdrive. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather buy a ship. Uh, you know what I didn't do? It's gigantic rifle, and it is B-class. in that awesome freighter. I don't drink coffee very often, but uh, espresso is my favorite. And um, I don't think you can even call that coffee. It's almost an insult to the espresso. <laughs> All right. I did want to look at the ingredients uh, for the matter beam. Uh, oh yeah, three magnetic resonators. I thought it was magnetic resonators. Uh, now then, we should... Uh, be able to color the ship, but I don't know uh, if it's working. It did not give us white or black. Uh, that's interesting. Nope, it's only changing the stripe and the details. Uh, it does not change the black. So, yeah, that's too bad. But I do like blue better than red. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of all this stuff. Uh, we need that. We need that. Uh, we can get rid of all of this. If we need it, we will call for it. Uh, yep. The hydrogen. That, that goes on the starship. Uh, this stuff. These things. We need that. See what else we have here. We need all of that. All right. That might work better. I don't know if that actually does anything yet. Nope. We'll just put it up there. All right, now we have loads of room and the freighter is full because it's a C-class, so it's very tiny. <laughs> Let's carry on. I think this probably has at least a few more minutes to go. How you doing, buddy? Still alive? Oh, 22 minutes. Yeah, that'll be tomorrow's. I'm not going to take this to 40 minutes. <laughs> Uh, did I go right down, down the wrong stairs again? Dang it! <laughs> Soup lady needs to learn how to park her ship. Alright, what's next? Uh, all of this ship stuff I'm going to have to get maps for. Um, let's continue... 
Oh, we need a Corvax word. Uh, let's go to the anomaly. We haven't done that yet. I don't know if I want to change anything. I have uh, multi-tools and starships that I can scrap and um, a number of other things available to me. But I think we're doing okay without that. I would say let's go to the Atlas in a Corvax system and that will end it, but uh, the Atlas no longer teaches you the language of locals. It just uh, teaches you um, the Atlas words. Uh, creature data? I only learned one creature. I don't expect much there. Five nanites. <laughs> I have some met some folks and I have learned some words, so let's try to get some nanites out of this. There we go. I didn't see how many it was. Uh, about uh, somewhere around a thousand, maybe eight hundred, something like that. I don't know if we're gonna need an economy scanner, but I'm definitely gonna get one. Uh, it is underneath the teleport receiver. There we go. And to make our lives a little bit easier, I am going to get uh, the sonars right here. We have one. Uh, so let's get the other two sonars for the roamer. That will help us find uh, things that we need for expeditions. Hi, Polo. Uh, let's see, let's ask about Atlas station coordinates. Uh, continue the search for Artemis. Uh, the Atlas Path. There we go. As you can see, we have uh, one Nexus mission in, uh, available. I'm not going to worry too much about Nexus missions. We'll do that on the regular Permasoft save. Here we go. I'm just knocking out the uh, the super easy ones. Looks like we can fly directly there. That's unusual. Usually I, I have to make like three or four warps to get to the nearest atlas. <laughs> All right, there is the atlas. Let's see if I can get portal coordinates to show up on my screen. As you can see right down there in the uh, lower left corner, uh, the portal coordinates, that um, the bug and the pie, the scarab and the little pie there, the third and fourth glyph, that will always be the third and fourth glyph of every Atlas system. And there is one in every region. You can portal directly to, as long as the region that you're visiting exists. So if you just dial randomly, you will sometimes uh, not dial an actual system. So we're not actually going to do the Atlas here. We're going to do that on Permasoft, especially since it parked me as far away as it could. 
Good grief. Alright, and wrong button, Itis. There it is, right there. We're going to get 128 Hexite, which we can mix with Facium in a medium or large refiner to make nanites. We're going to get 128 Liquid Sun and 128 Fragmented Qualia. I don't know what for. I hope that one of the encrypted missions is not to get a living ship, because I'm definitely not interested in doing that. <laughs> All right, definitely picking up a lot of good stuff. I'll hang on to it just in case we do need it. And next up, uh, next up is to visit planets. We do need to identify a creature on a desert planet, but the rest of the planets we only need to land and get out of our ship. So let's see what we have here. That is a fissured planet. It does not tell us that we need an anomaly. That right there is a fungal planet. And up above it, up above it is another fungal planet. So let's go to this one. Even though it has aggressive sentinels. Yikes! Fungal planets are toxic worlds. Unless it's a capped planet. <laughs> oh, look at the, all that oxygen. Can I land right here? A uh, tree? There we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, we've got an aggressive uh, little guy right there. Let's see if he's got a little paw print. Rain like poison. I don't see any paw prints. All right. We have a shield, so it's not a huge deal. <laughs> I totally do not need this stuff. <laughs> Here's an aggressive sentinel. Yes, I haven't gotten the reward yet. <laughs> 12,000 oxygen later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's see. I think there's room in the ship. No, there isn't. So let's get out and get the reward uh, on foot. There it is right there. The hazard protection is no doubt for uh, toxic worlds. And a movement module. Nice. Toxic protection. And where did I... But there it is right there. We'll plunk that down. And it's also horrid. <laughs> oh, that's the airburst engine. Awesome. <laughs> and we also got this worth 1.4 million units. The game is just giving us money. We don't even have to try. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a desert world in this star system. Goodness. There we go. Don't breathe. There we go. <laughs> that is a volcanic planet. I think that is on the list. Uh, no? No, it isn't. Just a desert and a hot planet. So, what do we have over here? The fissured planet. All right. Let's go to the space station.
know, I didn't notice if um, finishing phase one gave us one of the keys. No. Yeah, I don't know how to do that yet, but I'll uh, find out because I am sure that people have finished it, you know, like pretty close to finished it or figured it out by now. All right, you guys, when we come back next time, we are going to get those last two planets knocked out. Um, and uh, phase two, uh, we need to install this stuff on the roamer. And... Crater crash, crashed ship. We need maps for that. And come to the aid of a stranded life form. That might be a crash ship thing. So we'll be able to finish most of uh, phase three. Tomorrow, then. Oh, we still need to learn a Corvax word. And what was this again? Uh, a Gex system, but there's probably a Corvax up there, so we'll knock that out right away. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. If you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. If you're enjoying the content, then please click the like button. And as always, have a great day.